Welcome to Mount Sac Athletic Central. I'm Brooke Barber. I'm Nick Escalera. And I'm Robert DeAnda. And today we'll be doing an update on our fellow Mounties. Okay. Well, I hope last week you were at the uh, last weekend you were at the uh, final Mount Sac relay event because it's the uh, last one being held at the Hilmer Lodge Stadium because of uh, renovations that, that they're going to be starting because uh, our Mount Sac is actually going for an Olympic big bid to uh, host the, the Olympics in 2020. So if we get that, that'll be, that'll be huge for our school here at Mount Sac. That'll be awesome. Oh yeah, definitely. That'd be fun to watch and be like, oh, I was a part of that school. All right, the Olympics being here. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh my gosh, all the biggest Olympic athletes. <laughs> Freaking, oh man, that's, that's a cut. I wish I'd be there. Yeah, well, um, so big news, uh, baseball and softball final, coming into the final weeks of their season. Uh, baseball is at a 17 and 16 uh, overall record with an 8 and 10 conference. Uh, starting today, they have a three-game series with Pasadena City College. It will go today, Thursday, and Friday, all at 2.30. And what's key about this uh, this week is that they need to win at least two of these next three games, seeing that they are standing at fifth place in their conference, right behind Long Beach, Cerritos, El Camino, Compton, and El Camino. So they're going to need a really big win. Two of those three games are going to be away, and they haven't been they haven't done very well away from home. They're five and eleven away from home, while being twelve and five at home. So. If we can get that first key win today and then hopefully get that win on Thursday, home win on Thursday, we're looking at a good shot. But uh, one, uh, one good thing is softball, they're 28 and 11 with a 15 and 5 conference record. Wow. So they're pretty much a guarantee into the playoffs. They have one game left, and that's against Cerritos, who is right behind them. Mount Sac is in second place as Cerritos in third. So the winner of that game will basically take second place in the conference. So that's going to be good. Game. That if, is gonna be exciting. And if Mount Sac wins this game and El Camino, who is in first place, loses, Mount Sac will take first place, seeing that El Camino and Mount Sac are just one game difference. Oh, so there's a lot riding on this next game. Oh, yeah. So what's good is that it's a home game, so we got to get all the support we can out there, get that dub, and hopefully first place, place in the conference. Definitely. How exciting. And then it was an exciting meet for men swimming and dive. They walked away with their second consecutive South Coast Conference title. So congratulations to all those hardworking swimmers and divers. And then congratulations also to their coach, Ra, who also walked away with the Coach of the Year Award. So props on him. And then freshman Philip Wright earned Swimmer of the Year. So we had a lot of winners over the weekend. And he actually set two school records, so that's very impressive. Wow, that's um, a lot going on. Yeah, that's a lot going on. <laughs> and then the Mountie Boys will also be competing April 30th to May 2nd in the championship, so that'll be exciting. So we need to get out support for them. They're going to be held at the East Los Angeles School. Speaking right. of uh, uh, winners this weekend, the uh, Mount Sykes women's tennis actually uh, set a new record for themselves. So they're going to be going to the, uh, the their first state championship in school history. Oh my gosh! Uh, yeah, that that game will be uh, held uh, tomorrow actually at uh, Ventura College. Well, they'll be Mount Sac women will be playing against Modesto, and uh, Mount Sac uh, this past weekend had beat the number two seeded Glendale five to two in order to uh, yeah to to earn their appearance in the state championship, and uh, their record this year is twenty three and one. Uh, their that sole loss is to a. Uh, nationally known powerhouse, uh, New Mexico Military Institute, so you can take that loss with a, with a grain of salt. Uh, right now, their uh, Mount Sac is riding a five-game winning streak, so they're hoping to continue that success this uh, tomorrow uh, for this championship. That's a solid team. I caught a glimpse of them throughout the season, and they look really solid. You know, Every single player on that team is just goes hard, works hard, Pete's hard. Of course, yeah. to be reckoned with, as Mount Sac is known for. <laughs> exactly, Mount Sac is sports. The legs is key here. Oh yeah. All right. Well, uh, next week, join us for our uh, first NFL mock draft. We're going to try to predict the picks here, and uh, keep you updated on uh, Mount Sac sports. Thank you.